everyone. Disney's Haunted Mansion is a dark horse in the lineup of summertime film releases. Directed by Justin Simeon and written by Kate Dippold, the film has a cast to die for and a super creepy New Orleans vibe crossed with a modern day steampunk aesthetic that creates the perfect backdrop for a lighthearted horror film. It's a fantastic movie packed with fun, visual delights, and a killer story. However, it has one ginormous problem, and I mean ginormous. And remember, if you like this review, please hit subscribe for more videos. Okay, so it's the middle of summer. People are off seeing Barbie and Oppenheimer, or even still fetching over Indiana Jones. This movie should not have been released in the middle of July. Haunted Mansion is so good that it would have been an October box office blockbuster. This kind of film is what everyone wants to see in the fall. The effect is that it'll have a decent theatrical turnout in the summer and a huge pickup at home via streaming. Great for us, great for the studios, but the writer and the actors will get screwed with this release date because their current contracts lean toward money made in the theater, not in streaming where the film will be a big hit. Disney's Haunted Mansion is a prime example of why writers and screen actors are on strike right now. Disney is the winner here. The audience is the winner here. But the creatives who made the film, not so much. And that is a ginormous problem. So Haunted Mansion is such a wonderful film that I hope you go see it in the theater. If your local theater has Dolby Cinema, go to that showing. The color and sound that Dolby Cinema creates makes the blacks blacker and the colors more colorful. And in the case of Haunted Mansion, the sound kind of swirls around you in a spectacular type of experience. This film really was made for being seen in the cinema. So go to the theater. Rosario Dawson plays Gabby, a single mom who makes a big move to a mansion in Louisiana, only to find out that, hey, it's still inhabited by all of its previous occupants. And she is like, no way, I am not having this. So she reaches out and she gets some help. So she calls Father Kent, played by Owen Wilson, a tour guide who's also a former physicist who created this super cool like ghost camera, played by Lakeith Stanfield, a psychic, because of course you're going to want a psychic, uh, who will absolutely have you in stitches, played by Tiffany Haddish, and everybody's favorite local historian played by Danny DeVito, all of whom really get pulled into helping exercise the current inhabitants before it's too late. While the setup feels a bit ordinary, because, hey, we have seen this basic plot structure before. It's nothing new. It is the execution of the writing and the acting that transforms the film into something that's really, truly satisfying to experience. Plus, Lakeith Stanfield is so good that this really should be his breakout role. I want to see him in other films. You hear that, Hollywood? I want to see this guy more. Haunted Mansion absolutely nails the look and feel of the theme park ride without making it feel like a theme park ride. It's creepy and pretty all at the same time and the story plays with this ghostly theme in some excellent ways that are equally fun and thrilling to watch so there are a few story switcheroos that are unexpected and add really great elements of surprise the whole thing feels like a masterful translation of disneyland's haunted mansion experience if the ride was a real world place. That 
is hard to do. And they did it and they did it really well. The dialogue is wonderful. But with actors of this caliber, the slightest word suddenly has multiple meanings that will set you to giggling or outright laughing in all of the right ways. It really was a fun, fun, fun film to watch. There are inside jokes and moments of true emotion and pain that actually elevate the film from kind of cheap theatrics to a can't miss theater experience. I really can't recommend the film highly enough. Also, the cast dug into their roles, having fun with their characters. They clearly believe in the film and the story and they absolutely just gel on screen. Their friendship and synergy shine through and it enhances the entire movie. This film is so much fun that I think I'll even go see it again. That's how much I enjoy Disney's Haunted Mansion. It's a great family film. It's a good friend's night out or even a perfect date film that'll give you something to laugh about and chat about long after the credits roll. If you like this review, please hit subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much, everybody. I will see you again soon with more reviews and commentary. All right. See you later. Bye.